everyone. Today I'm going to show you a brand new tool inside of Weavy that makes your workflow work faster and smarter. The name of this tool is Iterators. As you can see here, we have an image iterator and the text iterator. And we are going to explore these new tools through two workflows that they build. One creates branded swag and the other one creates variations of design for your thumbnails. But before we take a deep dive, I want to say that this tutorial is for more advanced users. So if you don't know Weavy at all, I suggest that you will go into our tutorial playlist, watch our basic videos, or you can join our Discord channel every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern. We are doing first steps. And one last thing before we start, I'm Ron, I'm new at Weavy, I'm a creative workflow advocate, and I'm excited to explore new features, new models, and this uh, amazing platform together with you. Okay, let's start exploring iterators. So at this moment, you can reach your iterators on the side menu and drag them like any other node, or you can press right click, search for an iterator, and you will get it. As you can see, at this moment, we have image iterator and text iterator, but in the near future, we are going to release a video iterator and a 3D iterator. So what is the purpose of an iterator? An iterator allows you to create multiple inputs that will run at the same time and will be connected to a certain node. So for example, here we have a text iterator, we have a fox, a dog, a wolf, and let's add a giraffe. You can add as many items as you want by add another item and then you can delete them. And now, when all of these inputs are connected to this image model, when we are going to run it, we see that the credits are free, but the generation is going to be 12. Why? Because this model knows that it is going to run four times, one for each box. Every box here, it's a different prompt, okay? So let's press on it and we will run it. We will run it one time and they are all going to run simultaneously. So when I told you in the beginning that this is efficient and saving time, you can see here that I got all four images super quick. They ran at the same time. So this is the small example. But when we are speaking about text iterator, it has another superpower that I really, really like. And you can see it here. Now we are going to do a deep dive on a machine I built that the purpose of it is to show the qualities of the text iterator. So when you look at this workflow and you look at this workflow, both of them are going to give you the exact same outputs. But this one has 12 more nodes than this one, okay? This part and this part is similar, but here, thanks to the text iterator that I, I will explain in a moment what it does, I don't need all of this structure. Now, let's understand what's happening here. So I've built a workflow that takes a current thumbnail design. It's connected to an LLM. This LLM knows that it needs to create five different new ideas for new thumbnail designs. Each prompt is separated by an asterisk that you can see here. And the text iterator performs as an array and as a list and as a text iterator. We can say split by an asterisk like here, and they get five different prompts, okay, that they are going to be run simultaneously. Before we add the text iterator, to get this output, we needed to connect the same LLM, as I explained before, to an array that will divide it by asterisks. And then we needed to take this array, connect it to five different lists, select in each list the right prompt, connect a router or each of the image models and connect a prompt for each of the image models. And for me to get five ideas, I needed to build all of that and run all of that, but not anymore. Now with text iterators, I have a machine that does all of that together. So now let's look at this workflow. In order for me to run it, all I need to do is to select all. And now when I'm selecting all, I will see that it will cost me 80 credits because it's going to run the LLM and the image five times. I'm going to run it and I'm going to get five new thumbnails that are generated after five new prompts. Important for you to know, when you use an iterator, it doesn't matter if it's a text iterator or an image iterator, you need to select all of the workflow because if you will miss some of the parts, even a router, it won't work. 
So remember that. This is why we grouped them for you to get used to it. Okay, so now we see that we have new results, okay? How to use Weavy Iterator step by step, the new result. Okay, now let's see what we can do with an image iterator. This workflow actually takes any image of a product, okay? So in that case, we put in the iterator a generic swag collection. So we have a hat, we have a shirt, a notebook. We put our logo, the primary color, and the secondary colors. All of this is the context that is connected to this master LLM. But we created a rebranding director that knows to first analyze all of this context. And then he creates a prompt that will generate a new version of the product with our logo and our colors. But what you need to understand about it, it's when we look at this grid view and we look at this and the LLM, we see that they are connected. But it's not that all of the six images are connected to this LLM. Each time it's one image. So at the beginning, it's a mug. It will create a prompt for a mug. You see, restyle the mug. Then it will say, restyle the tooth bag. Then restyle the water bottle. So it works every time one prompt and one image, but it does all of it together simultaneously. And then we are getting this result. Let's see, we have the app, shirt, the notebook, the bottle, the tooth bag, and the mug. Okay, so now I wanna show you how we can run it again so you will better understand and we can change the colors. So I will change the primary color and the secondary colors. I will select all and I will run with one click all of the workflow. Okay, so we can see that now it's generated the same products with different color. We can go here and see that we have, yeah. So that's it. So that was the new iterator tool. Please feel free to explore it. We are going to share these two workflows in the same workflow here in the description below. Play with it, test it, give us your feedback. We want to improve it. And if you want to take a deeper dive into Wivi, you are more than welcome to follow our YouTube channel, to see the playlist of tutorials, to join us every week on our amazing Discord community on Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern for our first steps for beginners. And of first days, we call this session office hours where you can just jump on and take a deeper dive on your workflows, on other people's workflows, and we explore everything that's new and relevant for this week. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and any suggestions in the comment and see you soon, guys.